So NADN just released the brand new Sora 2 native note, which is absolutely incredible. Take a look at this. I created an entire AI UGC ad automation with three notes. Check this out. So this is the Sora 2 note. So if I go inside, I just basically uploaded this image of the sunscreen. And with a quick description, all I did was send this to the Sora 2 note, and this is what it generated. Sunscreen isn't just for the beach, it's an everyday essential. I use this SPF 50 lotion every morning because it protects against UVA and UVB rays, keeps my skin moisturized, absolutely amazing again this is about as simple and as easy as it gets in this video i'm going to show you step by step how to do this so that way you can start experimenting this because this is absolute game changer and you can create really powerful automations when it comes to ai ugc ads or any kind of ai ads that you can utilize and monetize perhaps for businesses again this is about as simple as it gets so even if you have never touched code or if you have never built anything with automation you'll be able to just follow along all right let's get started all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and build this thing step by step, but just quickly, there's only three notes here. There's the form submission, there's editing the image because we have to resize it. And then the main node obviously is the Sora 2 node. As you can see, all it takes is basically a prompt and then also this reference image that you have to upload, which is basically the product image, right? And then that's all you need to do. You need to send this to the Sora 2 model and it will generate Sunscreen, your um, video where then you can download this or you can directly upload this to your social media, which I'm gonna talk about in a little bit. So let's go ahead and do a demo and then I'm gonna go ahead and build this thing step by step. So all I have to do is click on execute workflow. And what this is going to do, this is going to pull up this form right here, as you can see, uh, it just is a, it has two boxes. One is describing the UGC ad and then also uh, uploading the product image. So let me go ahead and uh, find an image here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot of this random water bottle. Again, hopefully, and we won't run into kind of any kind of this privacy or content moderation issues, but we'll give it a shot. All right, so I took a, a image of that product or a screenshot of that product. Okay, so let me stop this and run this again. So I'm gonna execute the workflow again. There you go, the form pops up. So let me bring this a little closer so that way you can see. All right, so now I'm just gonna describe and say a 23 year old um, athlete, right? Talks about this cool water bottle and staying hydrated. Again, this is just um, sample, so you can feel free to change the prompting. And I'm gonna show you actually how you can create uh, new prompts with the prompt generator AI agent in a little bit. All right, so I put that and let me go ahead and upload that image. Okay, perfect, so I uploaded that image of that screenshot. I'm gonna click on submit. And there you go, as you can see, now that form went through, it submitted, edited the image, and now it's sending it to Sora 2. All right, so this is gonna take uh, a minute or so, so let me go ahead and pause this, and then once this is done, then I'm gonna come back and build this thing step by step for you. All right, perfect, so the workflow completed. So now let's go ahead and take a look at that video. So I'm just gonna double click inside this Sora 2 node, and then I'm just gonna click on view here, and you'll see the video. This bottle has been my game changer. It's lightweight, keeps my water cold for hours, and the handle makes it easy to carry from the gym to the track. I aim for at least three refills a day. All right, really cool. So it's for eight seconds, and I'm gonna talk about how you can actually create uh, lower um, four seconds as well, and then how you can combine like multiple clips if you want. So, um, so yeah, so you can click on download. If I download this, then now you can, like I said, you can, uh, you know, upload this directly like manually to your social media or you can uh, use an automation to essentially upload this directly once it gets generated uh, to like YouTube or Instagram or whatever. So uh, really cool video as you can see. Uh, keeps the watermark the same. The bottle is perfectly exactly like the image. So this is the image. This is the reference image that we, that we uploaded. As you can see, it's doing a really good job of maintaining uh, the quality and everything else and uh, you know the lip sync the music the everything is perfect so all right so let's go ahead and now build this thing step by step all right first things first uh for NADN, for if you're not familiar with NADN, go ahead and sign up for a free, free account uh I can, i'll put that link in the description so NADN is a no code platform uh, every automation in NADN, every workflow starts with a trigger. So our first trigger is the form trigger. So if I go ahead and just click on the plus button and look for form, the NADN form, I'm just gonna grab this trigger right here on new NADN form event. I'm gonna add this. So this opens up this form submission. So let me go ahead and bring this over so that way we can kind of generate step by step. All right, so once you have this, I'm gonna double click on this. So the test URL production unit, don't worry about that for this particular one because we're using NADN's native. Um, uh, NA10 form, we don't have to worry about the URLs here. Authentication, we're gonna leave as none. 
We're going to do a form title. So I'm just going to do AI UGC ad with Sora too. Okay. Form description, same thing. Just put a quick description. I'm just going to say create UGC ads with Sora too. Okay. Or something like that. All right, so the first element is going to be our text area, right? So I'm just gonna click on add form element. This is just going to be the description that the user is gonna provide. So in my case earlier, I said a 23 year old female model talks about you know the importance of hydration and water bottles, something like that. So therefore, we're just gonna say UGC description. That's it. The element type, we're gonna leave it as text. Placeholder, don't worry about it. Um, I'm just gonna click on required field so that we uh, we need to have this, otherwise this won't work. So I'm just gonna click on add form element because now we need to add the ability for the user to upload the product image, right? So this one is going to be image. You're just gonna name the name image. The element type for this is going to be file. So you're gonna click on this element type, select file. You can leave multiple files, but that's fine for now. Uh, required field, again, toggle that on. Everything else, leave everything as it is. Uh, so if I now, there you go, I'll walk out of it and click on execute step. This is gonna pull up the form and this is what the form looks like, right? There you go. So if I just quickly add something and choose the same file, click on submit. There you go. Now the file got submitted. And if I view, this is the product that we just uploaded. So very, very simple, very easy. And same thing, if you click on schema, you'll see the user UGC description in there as well. All right, so that was the first step. The second step is we need to add an edit image because we need to resize the image that the user uploads. Uh, because Sora actually doesn't accept, especially through this particular node, it only accepts the required aspect ratio. So if it's like 720 by 1280, you need to make sure that the image that the user uploads, it's resized properly. Therefore, we need to add a resize node, but it's very simple. You're just going to click on the plus button. You're just going to search for uh, image. There you go. And this is going to click, you're just going to click on edit image. And we're going to select resize image. Okay, perfect. So this is the edit image node. So let me back out of it so you can see exactly what that looks like. There you go, it's the same thing. So I'm gonna double click on this. Now the operation is going to be resized. The property name, make sure this matches your image right here or whatever name you have right here. So I'm gonna change from data to image. The width, so this is important because if you're creating a um, you know ad for your shorts, then it's going to be 720 by 1280. and if I go to this particular one, that's exactly what I did. I ch chose the width of 720 and 1280, the height. So let's go ahead and add that. So I'm just gonna do the width 720. And then I'm gonna show you how you can change that to, if you want a landscape one, 1280, okay? Perfect. Option, so make sure you change this from maximum, maximum area to ignore aspect ratio. So that way you resize it exactly as described above. So just click on ignore aspect ratio. And that's all. So now if I execute step, you'll see now this will, right here it says 608 kilobytes for the size file, and this should resize it, and it should get lower if we did it correctly. So if I click on execute step, and there you go. The file size is now 363 kilobytes, which means that it actually did the operation. If you take a look at the view, uh, it's not gonna, you won't be able to tell the difference that much, but it did its job. So, all right, so now we're good there. And now the next step, obviously, to add our Sora 2 node. So the way to do that, you're gonna click on the plus button here. You're gonna search for OpenAI, and you're gonna click on OpenAI. And if you scroll to the bottom, you will see it says video action generate video. If you do not see this video, uh, this option, it means you're not in the latest NAT. And make sure you are at least on NAT 1.117.3 in order for you to access this node. At least that's what I think, um, because I had a previous version earlier and I couldn't see it. So make sure you're updating that. And make sure you're on the latest stable, not beta, because sometimes beta doesn't work properly. But anyway, so if you don't see this video, uh, generate video action in the bottom, it means you need to update your NAT. But anyways, once you do, you're gonna click on generate video. This is gonna pull up the generate video node. If I back out of it, you can see right here, this is what it looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and double click on this. So now, uh, the first thing is, you need to add your OpenAI account. So I'm gonna click on create new credentials. The OpenAI key, so the way to grab this is you're gonna go to API or platform.openai.com and this is where you can create a new API key. So once you come to platform.openai.com, first things first, you need to add some money. Of course, you're gonna click on billing. You're gonna add some credit here. So make sure you put like $5 or something like that and that'd be plenty. Next, you're gonna click on the API key here and you're gonna click on create new secret key, name it. 
and then you can just copy the key. So once you, so I'm just gonna click on create secret key. I'm gonna delete this, so don't worry about copying it. So I'm just gonna copy this. Very, uh, another very important thing, if you click on general right here, make sure that you have verified your organization, otherwise you won't be able to have access to a lot of these particular uh, newer models, right? So that's just part of the requirement. So make sure this is verified. Once you do that, I'm gonna go back to my NADN here, and now I'm gonna paste that open, open AI key. The organization ID is optional, but feel free to add that. You're gonna click on save, and this will say connection test is successfully if you did everything correctly. If you didn't, it's gonna throw an error, which means that most of the time it's because you didn't verify your identity. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this one and use my other OpenAI account because I already have that. And let me go ahead and delete this so that way nobody copies my key here, revoke key, perfect. All right, and make sure, yeah, do not share your uh, opening eye key with anybody. All right, so let me actually delete this too. And boom, nice. Okay, cool. So once you add that, now resource, you're gonna leave it as video, operation is going to be generate. Model from list, so you're gonna select, you're gonna click on choose, and this is gonna load the different models that are available. So you have access to two models, Sora 2 and Sora 2 Pro. I'm gonna select Sora 2 because it's cheaper. So uh, for, for Sora 2, if I go to pricing here, and this is, you can check out the pricing here on going to OpenAI's, just Google OpenAI pricing. Uh, Sora 2 video, you can generate portrait and landscape, 720 by 1280, and it's going to be 10 cents per second. So if you generate eight second video, obviously it's gonna be 80 cents. If you use the Pro, obviously you get a more, uh, you know, higher quality model. And on top of that, you get to have a bigger, so if you wanna do like seven, uh, 1024 by 1792 or 1792 by 1024, then you need to use Sora 2 and it's very expensive. But I suggest sticking with Sora 2, not the Pro, because honestly, the, the difference in the quality is not that much. But feel free to play around if you, uh, you know, if you wanna check that out. Okay, so 10 cents, use Sora 2, but make sure you're limited to these particular to uh, dimensions, which is going to be 720 by 1280 for our particular reason at least. All right, so Sora 2, select that from the list here. The prompt here, it comes by default with this a video of a cat playing with the ball, so make sure you get rid of this. The way we're going to grab the prompt is we're gonna head to schema. We're gonna go to on form submission. You're going to grab the UGC description right here. So you're just gonna drag this right here and that's all. I mean, obviously I just wrote a bunch of gibberish there, but obviously we're going to test this again. So once you do that, uh, now you're good to go. The, nef the next step is uh, seconds. It comes default as four, changes to eight, and then also the size. So here's where you have a drop down option of the, all of these, the bottom two, this is for Sora 2 Pro only, okay? So for the Sora 2 only, you have these two options right here. So make sure you select that and very important, make sure the size here that you're selecting matches the size that you put right here, right? So if it's 720 by 1280, make sure you select it. And I just look and see right here, I put 720 by 1280 and I did the same thing right here, 720 by 1280. So make sure you select that. Another very, very important thing, you're gonna click on options and add options and say reference. This is important because you need to send this image as a reference to the API model. So therefore you need to make sure that the reference name matches whatever the file name right here or whatever the name is on this orange right here on the left hand side. In our case, image, if you do everything, you know, followed me along, so just changes to image and you should be good to go. So as you can see, now that's all we need. So step out of this and you are good to go. So make sure you change the name from the top here if you want to, you know, make it nicer. So I'm just gonna put Sora too. There you go. And that's, that's it, that's all you need. Now, if you want to further add, and let's say you don't want to, um, you know, you don't want to just have like a random person or yourself just say like a description that you're putting. And if you want to create uh, an AI agent that would provide the description for you or create the prompt for you, the way to do that is you can just add an AI agent here. So on this step, you can add either here or there. You can just add an AI agent here. So if I click on AI agent, and this is where now you can add a AI agent that gives you a prompt, right? Or generates the prompt here. So I'm not gonna do the whole process because it's gonna take too much time. So for reference, if I go to my community here and go to 
intermediate level because I already did this right here. So the social media, so we're to UGC AI ads. So I did all of this already. Uh, but this one, I did it via, so if I just download this quickly, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So with NADN, the great thing is like you have the ability to import, uh, you know, existing workflows. So I'm just going to import the one that I just downloaded. Okay. Sorry. Hold on one second. All right, there you go. So this is what I was doing earlier. So as you can see before this Sora 2 node by NADN, we had to reach out to like this Kai, uh, K-I-E, AI right through the API to create the task and send a bunch of stuff here. But now, like I said, it just has made everything incredibly simple. So this is what I was talking about. You can just, I'm just going to copy this, copy this, bring it over here and paste it. Get rid of this. There you go. So that's all. Let me get rid of all of this. So that way I don't have to see all of this nonsense. Not nonsense, but. All right, perfect. There you go. So now. All right. So what this prompt or what this AI agent is doing is basically is going to generate a prompt or make the prompt a lot better. Right. So as you can see right here. So now, obviously, the description, I would have to change and get it from uh, this right here. So this is going to be the user description right drag that there oops let me do that UGC description and I'm gonna get rid of the reference analysis and with this particular system um, system instruction so this is basically a long way of saying hey you're an expert AI video director specializing creating realistic UGC style ad prompts for open AI Sora 2 video model so what this is doing is saying grab that small description that the user is giving right and provide a uh, video prompt that then could be uploaded so instead of the on submission this could be then uploaded from here from the output of this ai agent so that way it makes your uh prompt the video prompt that you're sending to sora a lot quicker or a lot better right so again like you can take a if you're part of the community even if you're not that's fine like the way to it's very simple to create these you can just basically use chat gpt or something like that and say hey i'm trying to uh, create a video prompt ai agent for my nadn to send to sora to to create ai ugc ads give me the system prompt then it's going to give you something like this and feel free to play around and that way you can see exactly uh you know to your liking whenever as you generate more of it and obviously if you're new to any then check out the community i have a beginner's course intermediate course and an advanced level course and then also obviously if you want to learn how to make money with ai we have an entire five-week course on how to launch your ai agency because this opportunity is massive and then of course most importantly we provide tech support so if you ever get stuck in any of these things uh, which is inevitable you know especially if you're new you will get stuck uh, you know building things so that's where our community can provide a lot of help i'm going to put the link in the description hopefully i'll see you inside there but anyway so hopefully you found that video again check that out this is an incredible new node and it just makes things really really easy as you saw basically with three nodes even if you don't put this vi video prompt generator you can essentially create this just with the three nodes and then update and uh, create you know really amazing ads that you can upload to social media and by the way i'm going to do that video next i'm going to uh, basically e expand on this on the next video and uh, uh, add a blotato which is another api that you can upload uh, this ugc ad but the caveat to that is you have to actually now host this video that it got generated into a third party which in my case we will use cloudinary and i'm going to walk you through that so make sure you subscribe and uh, click on that notification so that way when i release that video which is going to be in the next couple of days so you're aware of that so that we have a complete automation where you can just automatically post this on social media on a daily basis or something like that anyways hopefully you found that helpful let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and again i would love to see you in the community so check out the link in the description thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one